Hi friends, hello everyone, today is November 27 and yes, you are right. On this day, I decided to conduct two experiments at once. The first one, I remember about two laps, and the second one is such an experiment, so to speak. I honestly don't even know what to call this video, I'll think about it, but I think from the title and review of this video, you already understood what I will train this muscle here. Let's call it muscle butters. No, no, just a uh, muscle of your thumb, yeah. I hope they won't throw me for this no matter what. I found several videos on the social network that where the dudes have this part completely pumped up and they perform all sorts of such exercises and there and so on I'm just going to show you now so what you also understand that exactly I'm talking about As you can see, there is just even a relief there, one type, the second type, just as if something was pumped here, some kind of silicone and just such a palm, I don't know, uh, and very interested in everything that concerns our grip and so on. And in most cases, this part is pumped by climbers and of course by arm wrestlers. But if it's just ordinary people, like the people I showed you before, who don't pay much attention to this, they are just strong on their own. But in this video, I will train the muscle of this thumb here. Let me take several such measurements at once, so that we can visually understand whether there will be any change at the end of this experiment or not. To begin with, we will make some visual observations. Here, that is look. This is how my parts look now. That is, if I conditionally strain this muscle and if I feel it like this, then its size is just very interesting to look at the conditions after I purposefully train this part. Like this. Like this it looks like. Next, the measuring tape. Well, try it on now. Two just wondering. Here, let's say. Here we it strain it out palm and conditionally throw this part here we will measure 24 centimeters approximately also i will try to measure it next time here 24 centimeters too here in principle it goes into tightness 24 centimeters let's see the second hand oh shit the tape slides we need to come up with some kind of innovation so that it does not slip so here is also 24 centimeters well as you can understand the visual part here is all nonsense by the way in terms of tensions you know i already have this unpleasant feeling. For sure, many of you at school experienced it then. You write for a long time with a pen and this part just fall off. The second point in addition to visual and tape date is of course the force of squeezing fingers. Certainly many of you and maybe even everyone who watched this video knows who Denis Teplinkov is and he literally crushed walnuts with force of squeezing. No matter how to do fix, I don't know how he does it so well. By the way, I also made several walnuts depending on their variety. It's just uh, there and generally hard nuts that you can give away if we're talking about touch types for entertainment. Well, in general, not enough. That's the kind of thing I have. That's a dynamometer. Many are already familiar with this topic. I will squeeze it in this way and show the results what will turn out. Let's see the right hand. <sighs> oh, 14.9 kilograms. Left hand. Oh, something cracked my finger somehow. It's unpleasant. 12.7. Oh damn, somehow he jumped off or something from a joint or something is uh, was very unpleasant. The left arm is weaker. Even here again for accuracy of the information, come on, right hand. Left hand. 13.5. Well, here there are the results of squeezing. Let's see how much they will change by the end of the experiment. In this video, I will finish my forearms, but for the most part, it is this part that I will use for all various exercises that I will show in the future. But if you are interested on this topic, I will throw a small spoiler right away. Here you will need several things, namely such small rubber band. Now I will show you how they look. You know, girls walk in the gym like crabs who train the glutes muscle. We will make a movement in which we bright the finger to the little finger. We will also need a tennis ball, which we will push through with our thumb. This is a small spoiler, but these things will be needed later. And later I will show you whole plan. I will also 
also show you the data form, the previous video on the forearm measurement. The size of the forearm is visible at 34 centimeters. Also, that will see how much they will change because I will fully train my forearms in addition to other exercises. Personally, I have not seen such video on the other channels. Perhaps they exist, but I want to show you my experiments in this topic. Here we'll see each other four times. Today, on the seventh day, on the 15th day, and on the 30th day of the experiment. In between, I will also share my feelings. Let's get started. Enjoy watching. But before we start, I want to say that if you like this video, be sure to like it. Let's get at least 5000 likes and write your comments. Write a lot of comments, it will be very cool and the video will advance to the top. Also subscribe to my Instagram, it's called Instaplet and write to me in direction if you have any questions about the training program, which I will stick to for a whole month. The training program that I will stick to for a whole month is very simple. I will do two exercises each 100 times for each arm, increasing the number of times of complicating with thicker harnesses and other things. The task is simple. You need to do 100 squeezing of a tennis ball and each hand applying maximum effort in each reps. If you squeeze the ball with a little effort, then the load will be insufficient. It also worth nothing the condition of the ball itself. The old ball will be easier than trained for beginners, while you will not be able to squeeze the new ball and also or squeeze it with great difficulty. So that some kind of deformations appears there at all. Therefore, I recommend talking of an old ball to begin with in order to do in a fuller amplitude. I do squeeze on the principle that the more I did your approach. The fever approach I have made, the better it is also. But when I do this exercise in two or even one approach, then it's time to complicate it. For additional complexity, it is recommended not only to squeeze the ball at one point, but also to rotate it in your hand, squeezing at different angles in different places. As you can see, the more times I squeeze the ball, the smaller the amplitude becomes. It's normal, as I try to work in denial. The muscles are burning. <clears throat> Have you seen how it was at the very beginning? But how is it now? <laughs> Such a terrible feeling of infirmity. Damn, in general, the left hand has moved away. In short, this was the last set. The left hand is really weaker. It's right noticeable here in this exercise. Now, let's move on the next one. I distribute the load vector as follows. That is, I draw a conditional line from the thumb to the little finger. So, we pull like this and do this kind of motion. So it improves blood circulation, it feels right. Here it becomes a cool topic. So now the second hand, the same principle. clutched up specially, so to speak, here. Let's take measurements for fun. Look, this is a small muscle. It has only become 24 and a half centimeters. Here, noticeable PAM. That is, in any case, there is. About a cool topic, it may seem to someone that this is a razor small volume. But I think that if you invest directly and do it with all your mind, then 100 times for the first time will be enough. You will not leave before training and prepare this place for further loading. In general, I'm going to three more sets now and for today in principle the load will be enough just i will do this exercise for the first time and see how the body will respond let's see if this part will hurt at all tomorrow or not i will see you tomorrow the next day i didn't have any pain it was even upset because usually after all the experiments well almost the next day everything hurt me but not this time, because I remember there were those times of dinosaurs when I was engaged in painting. After a lot of drawing or whatever they say, especially the creative writing of the picture, the next day this muscle just flew away. Here, damn, I was training, training, but nothing hurts. The artist is one, the gym is zero. Well, the following days I trained at work and sometimes at home, using only these two exercises.
Hi friends, hello everyone. Today is already December 4th and it's been a whole week since I started training this here muscle. In short, throughout this week I just two exercises, squeezing a tennis ball and burning my thumb to my little finger. Let's call in that this is the moment. You've seen it's clear enough. Just two exercises. I have not doing them for a week and to be honest, during this week I have increased the number of times. The first time I started, I squeezed the ball 100 times on the first day and did 100 casts. This exercise with the rubber clearly turned out to be not as difficult as I thought after the first workout. Therefore, on the following day I already performed about 150-200 reps of each exercise. Sometimes even at work in my free time I would walk around this a tennis ball that was tighter and just for an indefinite time until I was tired I would squeeze this ball. I also did arm reduction to fatigue my press a rubber loop. It wasn't too systematic since I didn't have a certain amount of time to complete this task. I would to do it for example at lunch uh, when I saw a tennis ball because I work in the field of tennis at 5 pm and then in the evening when I came home. But let's see, maybe some indicators have already changed after seven days. Especially I want to measure it now with a measuring tape but with a dynamometer. It seems to me that this will more accurately reflect the increase. If you are interested in this muscle look like when you look something like this, from the front, from the side, wide, so to speak, by straight, by tightness, I don't know how to characterize it, well, this in tone, so to speak. I didn't experience severe pain or overtraining during the week because I expected more vivid sensations. Basically, there was such a burning sensation throughout the training itself, as if the ligaments inside were stretched to the maximum, and sometimes I got to such a state that I couldn't even push the ball. In general, not once. I made a tourniquet, then put the squeeze on the ball until I couldn't squeeze it at all. Well, it was interesting. So now it's time to use the dynamometer and see if the results have changed. Let's start with the left hand. 13.5 kilograms. I think my finger cracked again. 13.5 kilograms. And here is the right hand. I do all this without warming up. 15.6 kilograms. Cool, cool. 15.6. It was 14.9, that is, there is a small boost. But I don't know now if it can be called a boost again. 14.2 kilograms. Left hand, second attempt. 14.2. This is better than 13.5. More than 700 kilograms. This is math lessons fourth grade, yeah? And on the same hand, there was a boost of 600 grams. Okay, let's try again with the right hand. I think I should get even better now. 17.3. 18.2. Best result. In general, there is some kind of boost and in principle, and this blesses me. Cool, just a week of training, maybe I refresh the memory of my muscles. In fact, I'm starting to feel like I've developed stamina this week. I have throws on how to improve the training progress, how to make it more productive, performing the casts 25 times. And I understand that the endurance of this muscle develops more than the force effect. Next week, I plan to add retention because this part of the muscle has a big role besides the finger. I'm also thinking about adding plate work to static. Also, it will be difficult given the nature of the moment. I will still increase the thickness of the harnesses of their number in order to achieve results. But now I'm happy with what I have already achieved. I wonder if I'll be able to squeeze 20 kilograms with my thumb by the 30th day. That's just interesting. I don't know at all what it gives. This one here is the sum of exactly 20 kilograms. And how much, let's say, do tops squeeze? How many, let's say, the same Denis Tsiplinkov can press in this way through the one finger? If he cracks nuts, they're like that. Well, of course, this is also as he himself said that nuts are not an indicator. It all depends on their variety. Well, something turns out, but not on all nuts. Of course, not at all. But overall, I'm happy. Pretty cool. Boost is there 
which means I've been working this week, not in vain over this. As you can see, just two exercises in week can even lead your top to the fact that there will be a small boost. This is the result. Let's continue working further. Never gonna stop, never gonna stop, gonna stop. Going to the top, Kobe with the shot Cooking like a pop, yeah the shit is sock Popping like a colonel, I was never tired CBA, never say I've been on my ground for seven days Need a race, swear to God I'll never be the same TBA, t t t t t t t yeah So friends, today I have a small update in exercise. I came to this exercise myself. Well, in most cases, firstly, no one engaged in such a dry wank, let's call it that. Those who are engaged just press the ball. That's what minus motoric skill means during finger training. I got to the point there it because easy for me to squeeze a ball like this. Naturally, he is already a little tired, but it happens, for example, there is no opportunity to purchase another such ball. One single instance of such a good condition. And the most brilliant thing came to my mind. It seems to me that therefore is a way out of this situation, as they say, everything ingenious is simple we do the following we insert a finger a loop and do it like this you and i do this here here we put the ball and do squeezing the ball throwing bringing with the rubber and if you want to load your squeezing skill even more than was your squeeze we take a, the hand a little forward therapy pulling the rubber and addition maximum resistance in the top at the peak it looks something like this squeezed taken away squeeze taken away much more. This is how the whole part feels, including this here. I will do this for the remaining 15 days, 10 times a day. Well, because it's virtually impossible to do it any more than you do it to the maximum of your efforts. Here I did it once after that I pulled the ball down. I did 20 reps for finish and I will do such 10 approach that is a total of 200 with the harness and 100 squeezes. Perhaps then I get used to this load, I will increase the number of time, but I think that for 15 future days this will be more than enough. Accordingly, this is also a cool solution for the second hand and you can load your thumbs quite seriously this away therefore use it i don't know what to call this exercise let's call the exercise squeezing of body shaper come up with a name in the comments write this exercise a name that i came up with because i personally do not know if anyone has even performed such a movement or not it seems to me that this is an exercise that i'm invert myself so friends i will perform the remaining 15 days and add some retention exercises and so on in the training process but the basis is this well friends it's already december 16th it's been a little more than 15 days since i started my experiment on how to get bigger my thumb muscle i didn't come up with a better name for them the muscle of the thumb flexors or squeezers or i don't know now what to call it call it what you want closer the point let's look at the intermediate measurements now it's 24.5 centimeters almost in 20 days an increase of half a centimeter well visually there are a little difference of course but i wouldn't say that there are super big difference especially since a fairly short period of time has passed but the most interesting thing is not the rule the most interesting thing is to see how much i will squeeze on the dynamometer let's see the best result on the right hand was 18.2 let's see how much it will be at the moment let's go <sighs> Seventeen point seven. Left hand sixteen point nine. So far sixteen point nine. Right hand, left hand, fuck, healthy pose. Then it was and so then the second attempt. Seventeen point nine. You bought the rule up. Left hand 17.9. This is a record. The last result was 15.6 according to my record. Let's look at the right hand again. 18.7, third attempt. The best result was 18.2. So well, let's make one more attempt as usual. The whole thing is without a warm-up. Left hand. Ah. Ah. 
17.4 right hand 17.3 well in general you remember the best result quite a bit more progress has happened now as for training i added an expander besides the fact that i was just squeezing the ball with the rubber i show you an exercise that i invented myself and kept a couple of workouts for a certain amount of time literally just like that with a pinch grip but to be honest, it doesn't seem to me that this is a super boost. It gives exactly for such a squeezy moment. In addition, I also added an expander, this same expander for 350 pounds. There is also a 300. I used the one just to diversify my hands because the ball, no matter how, scores well anyway. Among other things, I also added a kettlebell. You know, there is a, the movements for bridging on the beam at first. I hammered my squeezer completely into failure. After that, I did this butt lift from the floor, you know, like an attraction. In short, that's how I periodically squeezed the expander. Well, I don't know, to show you my progress, I don't know, it's hard to call it progress. Here is this expander 350, like this, I don't know. It seems to me that once you found a time when I was shooting a video, the 350 closed worse, the same one. And here is a, an expander for 300. Let's see. It's a page. Just progress if there is one again. Left hand. This is again the case without the warm up, it's just that, as it were, I began to work move with the 350 expander and therefore 300 went easier to close. It is precisely for this peak compression that there are not enough forces, but in general progress is underway. That's it. This is what my squeezing thumb muscle look like. From side, a cool thing, I like it. Okay, for the sake of interest, measure of the forearm. Well, the forearm turns out to be actually 35 cm. A small increase, 34.5 cm. This is what forearms look like. But anyway, the main exercise I will leave squeezing the ball and bringing the rubber. Because it seems to me that these two exercises work out exactly the squeezer of our palm as best as possible. In general, the results are pretty good. Well, now we'll see you on the third day of my experiment and see how much my results will change as anthropometric. So in general, such are the physical ones one might say of a squeezing nature. See you on the third day. So friends, another day of training. I discovered a very cool exercise for myself. It's just twisting on the forearm. You all know them. You lower your fingers down, twist your forearms as much as possible. But what is the point? Most likely, in most cases, you do around 10 to 20 reps there, but there may be some one-time highs. Surely, you have never tried to make such a neck for the number of times. Namely, to do, say, three sets 100 times, here try to do this 100 times. I guarantee you, at the time of 30, you will have such a fierce burning sensation that you have never experienced working with big weights. Moreover, I will tell you, in order to reach 100 times in this exercise, I first reached 50 times in one set. And this is very cool working out deep forearm muscles. In general, it's completely different feelings. Highly recommended it. You can do such a workout once a week, just make a volume of 200 reps like this, 2 or 300 reps just with an empty bar. That's how smoothly completely we feel the tact and twisting arrangements. Today I have such a workout. Holding plates with such a pinch grip is very basic for building our squeezing muscle and generally stretching fingers. Oh, yeah. Techno Gym is not the best lathes which are so convenient to hold, well damn, we have what we have, but Techno Gym is very slippery 
plates. While, let's say, the old Soviet plates, they even have a convenient races, you know, it took and holds comfortably. Here, of course, it is not difficult to keep because I kept ordinary Soviet plates and at 25 kilograms. And at one time I turned out well to tear off a 50 plates from the floor. But for now, like this, I'm straining with 20s, of course, it's very saving because without it, it's super difficult to hold them at all. Another exercise is pretty cool. I just take a place like this and keep it for the maximum amount of time. Our squeezing grips is also begin being worked out very well. It's not fresh anymore. I'm just showing you an exercise that I'm doing because often then I'm straining, I can film these exercises. The fact that there are a lot of people here or something else, the squeezing grip is very cool. Also, lifting plates with a reverse grip is well worked out by the same muscles. In addition, the radial muscle, brachialis and the biceps are also included in the work. More, of course, then you work with five thumb muscle that is loaded, razors and the biceps or the beam. But a very cool exercise too. I recommend it adding if you want to straighten your thumbs. Classics, my favorite exercise is the extension of the forearm with a pinch grip. It also scores with the parts very well. In addition, extensors finish. Usually they do it until the hand itself does not let go of the plate. Yeah. I also do a rotation with the plates and very good exercises. Also works out the grip well. In particular involves the thumb. In general, I often do this in amount of 15 or 20 reps working in, on a superset with a relatively small weight. Another variation is working on the beam, but only throw the thumb with an emphasis more on it and we do such movement. I shoot everything non-stop. It's quite difficult, but you understand the essence. These exercises are also used in the training process to load our thumb muscles. And of course work with the balls and burnouts if something else comes to my mind, I will definitely show you what exercises I also do to straighten our grip. Sudden video friends, for the past 10 days I have been feeling unwell and ill. Along the way, something like a virus or call it whatever you want. Due to the fact that I had a fever, cold, weakness, a bad condition, I didn't actually train, but this is more relevant to my second experiment. As for this topic here, I tried to do a minimum of thumb volume, but I will say it is such that that yesterday I made a full load in this particular topic. Everything hurts today. I don't know how it was possible to roll back so much in 10 days of illness, but it's very difficult for me. I'm even now holding a phone on this hand and I'm really tired of holding it. But I will tell you that it's very difficult, of course, to train for a month and then you get sick and you become weaker. Well, it's okay. We will see each other to final day of my experiment and see how much my squeeze straight has changed. Hey friends, hello everyone, today is January 6, 2023. I delayed this project a little bit because of my illness. Everyone already knows about it, even from the previous video, about pulling up with uh, 24 kilograms quite a bit. I trained to try to show my peak form after all again as in the previous video. Therefore today, in the final day of my experiment in which I train my thumb muscle or just squeezing abilities, let's call it that. Let's get started. First about the visual component. Let's talk like this. There they look. On the final day of my experiment a little more than a month i trained them of course with a short break that's it from the front i don't know 
like this from another i don't know what to call it remember i squeezed them at the beginning of the experiment but i will say it as if it's possible it seems to me but they have become somewhat more voluminous it seems to me of course but they have become more elastic that's for sure especially this part here it's what concerns the visual component now let's look at the measuring part so friends well as for anthropometry plus half a centimeter was added it was 24 centimeters it became 24 and half centimeters i think with the respect to such a small muscle there is a significant increase visually it seems to me perhaps just a big difference no i don't know it should be watched already in post-production let's call it that four hours that's almost 35 centimeters of course it's all fun but the most interesting things is of course the squeezing force itself how it was changed in general has it changed or not i don't know it's clear that it has changed but how much relative to the 30th day that's more interesting as usual let's take a look click start well probably start with the right hand the first result is 70.4 kilograms right hand the best result on the right hand was 18 and 7 last time but juggling by the first results this is the best result 0.3 oh 18.1 left hand 20.8 <sighs> one left hand my straight has let me it's uncomfortable but 21 and 1 on the left hand and 21 on the right hand good results very good results and the most important thing is that it is still a little bit weight this is in general a pretty good result and i achieved it thanks basically simply to the fact that i squeezed the ball and did the, this exercise with the uh, rubber and this is all just two exercises also of course i perform static plates hold and so on just like a pinch grip more well damn i won't say that I did them often, but it was squeezing the ball and bringing the rubber that I tried to do every day. And I believe that it, the very first result I had was 14.9 and 12.7. There were 14.4 and withdraw up to 20 kilograms plus 6 kilograms. This is very good boost. Of course, as you can see, it's unstable constant. A lot of depends in general on your recovery. On, in order to produce such a peak, you know, it's a topic like with the expanders. In fact, in order to compress the expanders or show the maximum results on the dynamometer, not only do you have to the response it according to your own feelings, but your central nervous system must also be in good condition in other to give such performance peak. It seems to me that if I had slept more, hours and i didn't sleep very much today because last night i made a snow man then we woke late i think that if i had slept more and recovered a little better perhaps the results would have ever better or maybe not by the way about the snowman hello everyone well it will just go to the my blog we were just kidding around here and built a snowman like this biceps show look there are two 50 cents two for 50 but not sense it's tenge instead of ice they just didn't find anything else and in short now we will try to change this video in tiktok i don't know i have seen such video most often they gain views i'm i'm from karaganda maybe the video won't gain views you will see this snowman here well in short i just don't know will i will post it therefore here is such a, a small ball removing which you see in 2000 tenge that's so fatter you need to draw it Today is Thursday, January 15th already. That's how it is purpley pleasant for people. Maybe some needs a taxi already late. Good luck to you. Always be in shape and develop professionally. Well, in general, like this is the kind of video I got. I think the topic is very interesting. I can be developed and I am very interesting in your results as well. Anyone who has such dynamometer, be sure to try it. Write your results in the comments. In any case, there will be people who have stronger thumbs, especially with me. To be honest, the fingers are thin, straight, very thin. I don't know if anyone is interested or not, but it, for example, thickness of my index finger, 6.5 cm. The brush, taking into account the fact that I was pressing something right now, 17 centimeters it means i'm pretty skinny and of course it's not really given to me genetically but there are guys that's how i showed 
you at the beginning of the video. It seems to me that they can give 100% more results, and in general the experiment turned out to be quite interesting. It seems to me that there are no analogies in such video. And if you like this video, be sure to like and subscribe to my Instagram. Also, if you're interested in this training program, then subscribe to my Instagram and write squeezing. And I don't know that I understand thoroughly what you want to ask me. I'll send you my plan, how I trained, but I think if you have watched up to this point, then you already understand how I trained my forearms and my thumbs. Let's look my grip straight once I have dynamometer at hand. Let's take a look. <sighs> 79 and 1. That's the right hand. 77.3, left hand. Левая рука. 79.4. 76.2. And of course, according to the state of health, as for this experiment, it was the nail plate that began to deform. You see, I don't know. I can see at all nail and that's it. He's changed a little bit. You see how normal has become, but it has become so convex. The thumb almost didn't hurt at all. He it was ill only after his illness. Then I practiced it after two weeks of break. I did it again, by the way, taking into account the disease. This is a pretty good result because during this time I tried to catch up with him somehow. I often didn't try the dynamometer at all in my hands, didn't hold it, didn't check it. I kept all this a secret for even myself in order to maximize my goal at all to get over 20 kilograms. In principle, I have pulled it. And of course, the load was quite easy. Therefore, I don't think that if you start repeating this experiment after me, you will feel a fierce overload. No, I didn't really feel anything like this, like that at all. And of course, I think that if in the future for a long time to do brightening, rubber and all sorts of complications there, a tennis ball to do so on, then I think that, well, maybe of course, not as such as the person who is right here, such a bump, but I think you will come to this because in general, this thing is growing in volume as we could see visually. There is even such a theme that it has become a little bigger and more elastic. Well, it's fun when the palm is fleshy. Therefore, somehow such a grip, such fingers. Thanks to everyone who watched this video to the end. Put your like, subscribe to the channel. If you are suddenly here for a first time, write your comments. We will collect a piece of comments, only it will be fun under the video. And, and 5000 likes, I will show a new video. And write your ideas in the comments below this video. What you can do for another 30 days in a row? Well, as always, I wish to always be in a shape and develop professionally. See you soon! Postscript. In order to chop nuts with a thick beer, 20 kilograms will definitely not be enough for you. You need a lot more. It's very interesting. By the way, how many Denis Tiplinkov will squeeze? This question, of course, will remain open. Thank you.